Yeah, good dig around in the archives. Now, if you were in Somerset this weekend and you glanced up at Glastonbury Tour, you might be forgiven for thinking that aliens were landing. Well, the National Trust monument was surrounded by what appeared to be a sea of twirling lights. So what, you may ask, was going on? Well, Ali Vowles tried to find out. Weird, wonderful and definitely an out-of-this-world experience. It's the tour as you've never seen it before. But in the cold light of day, all becomes clear. These are firewinders, wind-powered lights made of recyclable materials. Well, it's inspired by bad weather. And of course, we live in such a, uh, a country of such changeable weather that I thought, well, wouldn't it be great to create a light show from the wind? It's as simple as that. So that the worse the weather gets, or the more it changes, the more exciting the experience. And, uh, and so, yeah, that's the inspiration, really. But it's in the night time they come into their own. So how do they work? It's got a special shaped uh, helical wing which captures the wind from any direction and it's got its own little power generator and, um, and that's what farms the energy into the LEDs and it creates this illusion of a spiral. So actually the lights are just spinning round but it plays a trick on your eyes so that you think it's a spiral going upwards. I think it's very impressive, isn't it? It's, it's, it's amazing to think it's just wind power making these things light up. I'd love the idea of them at a place like Sydney Opera or somewhere where public space that's a bit arty. But in my garden I'd want something that's a bit more steady because it does make me feel a bit like, whoa. The art installation certainly attracted the crowds this weekend and in the future the Wiltshire inventors hope the lights will have a practical use as well. But for now, many in Somerset are wondering, just what did they encounter? Ali Vowles, BBC Points West, Glastonbury. We had a couple of emails actually about a week ago from uh, our viewers saying there were some strange sightings over Bath and South Gloucestershire. So I passed it on to Richard and you have the explanation, you think, do you? Yeah, we've got a lot of Chinese lanterns, um, particularly at the holiday.